So basically, girlfriend and boyfriend have been trying for months to try to get accepted by the Dares family. Obviously, they went through many trials and tribulation, including having literal hitmen sent to kill boyfriend so that he could not be with girlfriend. But as of now, it seems like everything is good. They are even playing Uno with Mommy Mirrors, and while Daddy Dares doesn't seem happy, he is allowing boyfriend to be in the house. Now, in actuality, Daddy Darius is actually very upset that nobody in this era has been able to kill Boyfriend, and he's super mad that his wife is playing Uno with him. So Daddy Darius comes up with a plot to send Boyfriend to a different time period. Daddy Darius creates a time vortex and sends Boyfriend and Girlfriend back in time to a medieval era. Don't ask me why he sends his own daughter and not just Boyfriend, I cannot answer that. But the couple falls through the time dimension and eventually fall through another portal. This portal takes them into the middle of a castle's throne room, where a king and a queen are lamenting over their daughters being kidnapped. The royalty notice boyfriend and immediately ask him to help save their daughter. Don't ask me why they put all this faith in this stranger that just dropped out of a portal. Boyfriend is the hero and that's just how it goes. Shortly after setting out to go find the king's daughter, whose name is Mika, boyfriend actually finds her with a warrior named Omega. Omega tries to persuade Boyfriend to leave him and Mika alone, but Boyfriend of course does not back down. Omega then challenges you to a rap battle, and once you defeat him, he still declines to give Mika back to you. But the thing that really stands out in the situation is that Mika doesn't seem uncomfortable or that she wants to leave Omega's side, which puts into question this idea of her being kidnapped. Once Boyfriend beats Omega the second time, he finally reveals that Mika is a part of an ancient prophecy that states that she is cursed. Because of this, her parents have basically enslaved and imprisoned her, making it so that she can never have any type of human contact or relations her entire life. Omega refuses to let Mika go back to that prison and is willing to fight against an entire army in order to protect her. Boyfriend doesn't believe this straight away and you fight Omega a third time only to be interrupted by this army. And this is where it gets interesting because you have two options. You can help the stranger or you can help the army. Now, if you help the stranger, that is considered the good ending. Basically, Boyfriend and Omega team up to fend off the army, while Girlfriend and Mika go to a nearby cave to try to find an artifact that will help Mika. Once Boyfriend and Omega defeat the army, Boyfriend and Mika come back, stating that they are not able to find an artifact, but Girlfriend does find a clock that will allow her and Boyfriend to get back to their own dimension. Now, if you choose the bad ending or to help the army, you actually have to fight Omega again, and this time he's using his curse blade, but you also have to fight Mika once you take him out. Now, once you beat Mika, the army actually comes and takes her away by putting her into a safe, literally a safe. And as she is taken away, Boyfriend starts to realize that maybe he made a mistake in helping the army, while Girlfriend doesn't really seem to care. The story ends with girlfriend and boyfriend sitting on the throne appearing to be the new royalty. While girlfriend seems to be happy with this, boyfriend is still horrified realizing what he's done to this young girl. Without Omega's knowledge of the cave and that golden clock, the two never actually make it back to their time and Daddy Dears wins in a way even though he does lose his daughter. Now, upon unlocking the good and the bad ending, you can get the true ending, which is the father time ending. And the true ending, as girlfriend and boyfriend are taking the portal back to their own dimension, they are met by Daddy Dearest. Daddy Dearest, of course, challenges boyfriend to a battle, which he promptly loses. But this time, when he loses, he actually challenges boyfriend to a real fight because he's fed up with nobody being able to take out this guy. Boyfriend in the face and they are all teleported back to the regular dimension where mommy mirrors goes on to win the uno game there is a secret ending called dethrone and the only way you can get this is during the king's cutscene. you have to press no at the top left side of the screen by doing this boyfriend will decide to fight the king and the queen and take their throne basically becoming a new monarch of this medieval world there are a bunch of cameos in this mod as well if you want me to do videos talking about and explaining some of those let me know if you made it to the end of the video make sure to drop a like subscribe and click the end screen for another video this is orsa course peace